Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody. It must be time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waxing gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Aries. This reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Libra. Holy Spirit, Angel, guys, what is the full moon, the hunter's moon, and the super moon message for Libra? Thank you so much for stopping by the channel, Libra. Okay. Look at a sign is appearing. It could be appearing. Maybe if you don't see it yet, you came here so that you know. The first sign appears. New moon in Aries. More Aries energy. You know, I get the feeling of being an Aries. Today is the waxing gibbous in Aries and the full moon is in Aries and for me Aries is the Emperor the Empress right the Emperor or the Empress that's Aries and so it's about a new moon in Aries like coming into your power like you've been working you've been putting forward some or Effort and the first signs that that effort is paying off, they appear. They begin to appear. This is what the card says. <laughs> the first signs appeared. Yeah, something's getting ready to appear, or it already happened, or it's getting ready to happen. One door closes so another can open. Full moon in Scorpio. It could involve an Aries or a Scorpio. Libra. Right. But you're beginning to see signs. You know, that's what's important. I am so sorry, but my eyes have been running. My nose is running. Everything is running. So just bear with me. Go with it. Go with it. Okay. Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, what is this about? What signs? Talk about these signs. How is Libra going to know that another door is getting ready to open after one closes? One door closes. That's the full moon. It says, what do I no longer need? What do I have to release? What do I have to clear away? What work do I still have to do, Moody? What do you still got to do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Hold up. Something appears. There's a sign. There's a sign about you. Feeling good about you. Doing what you need to do for you. Keeping the focus on you. Libra. Hmm. Mm -hmm. First signs appear. One door closes so another can open. Go with it. And it's always behind after a full moon is a new moon. And in between them, we are given time to work on ourselves, to think about it, to take some action. Right. Then to rest, to prepare for the new moon. I see Sagittarian energy here, Libra. Sagittarian energy is all about expansion, change, growth. Temperance is about taking control of yourself, tempering yourself. Mm -hmm. Very much into self and, and being guided by spirit. Notice the angel feathers, wings around you right now. You're protected. You are protected. Some of you have been praying 
in prayer spirit just opens up with temperance temperance is also about balance between the spiritual world and the physical world understanding that everything starts up there and so you're looking there knowing that's where your help comes from deep that's right you know, when we're looking up, then we can see because there's signs. There's signs. But you got to be looking up. Sometimes life has us looking down. We're weighed down. Okay. And I feel like you are weighed down, but now things are looking up. You're balancing yourself. You know, your feminine and your masculine qualities are coming back and you're learning when to deploy what you're starting to feel good not all negative not all positive but right in the middle there's balance knight of swords messages what we tell ourselves what we allow others to tell us there could be so a message of truth and clarity something that clears things up that gives you a deeper understanding. The first signs are going to appear. They've already appeared. If you think about it, you've already seen a sign. Something closed or something's getting ready to close. And Spirit wants you to know, look for signs to appear of a door that's opening. Then go through it. Go through it. Be the king or queen of wands. <sighs> Libra. First of all, have I told you you're looking kind of good? You made some changes. The king or queen of wands always looks good. Like you changed your wardrobe. Maybe you piped it down a little. Okay. So you're looking good. That automatically is attracting attention. Plus you got the hunter's moon. The hunter's moon is about hunters that went hunting in the evening. And the reason they were under able to hunt longer in October is because the leaves fell from the trees, providing more light, giving them more time. So you've had some time to see the light. That's why you come in all balanced, at peace, right, tempered, in control. I like this. I like this. That's the first sign, right? Us being in control of ourselves, Absolutely. And then it's like our focus changes on to what we're supposed to be doing. For you... Yes, your angel guy just you're like in the flow. You're in the flow. You're going with it. One part of your life, something came to an end. Something major is coming to an end. It could be a job within a year or so. Or something. Something serious. Something's coming to an end. It is. Because it says one door closed. This full moon could be a time where something is closed or maybe you're still getting over the residual effects of something that's ended or somehow there's a closing so that there can be a new beginning. Leo, Airy, Sag, energy, oof, looking good. Libra, what is it? Your hair, your... You look good. You have a glow about you. Hey, I'm just telling you. I know people have been telling you you look good. All right. So that's good. But something has somebody all in their head regarding somebody that they love. Maybe they are restricted from them. There's like a fence, boundaries. Okay. All in their head. Mm. Look for f first signs, new signs, because October is a time of harvest. The hunter moon is allowing more light in, shedding more light on the situation. 
Time heals all things. <laughs> heals you. Heals me. Heals us. Time heals us. At the center of your reading, let's just talk about this baby, is the Two of Cups. You know, the Two of Cups is a soulmate. You know, your dog can be your soulmate, your sister, your mom, a lover, best friend. So it is about somebody looking for something to change. The first signs of a change are going to appear. Something's going to change. One cycle is closing so that a new cycle can begin regarding a soulmate, Libra. Somebody you're supposed to be in connection with. There could be some boundaries right now, but you know, when spirit wants you to be in the life of someone else, he makes a way. Out of no way, God is in control. Also, bam! <laughs> Look at what's behind door number one. Okay, maybe you need to see up close. So, you were the queen of wands, ready to begin something new. Right, you opened up with the wings around you, your angels, and look what comes. The king and the queen of wands, and at the center was the soulmate. So this is about that soulmate, the one. Libra. Mm. Look for the signs, because a new soulmate's going to appear. You two, it's divine. This is divine because for me, there's some type of divine communication. Maybe you two go to the same church or the same charity or you already have similar life's paths. Immediate clarity. Look for the signs. Look for the signs. Woo! Okay, tell me more. Tell me more. I'm just seeing so much light. This is like, you got the Queen of Wands, you have the Two of Cups at the center, and you have the King of Wands in the future. Okay? You have Temperance as your first card, then you have the Two of Cups at the center, and you have the Queen of Swords as your last card. All this clarity, all this brightness, all this understanding. It's like when we're ready to elevate, to ascend, God gives us the knowledge. You came in very in control, very balanced, spiritually led. Yeah. And, you know, that's all that you needed. That's your one major arcana here. Spirit is letting you know that under this full moon, your power is all in temperance. How you control yourself, how you know when to use your masculine versus your feminine energy, how you are able to balance your spirituality with your physicality. Mm. When it comes to love, too, knowing that your spiritual takes the lead. Mm -hmm. Right, like it's not about the physical taking the lead. It's not about you seeing something or them seeing you. No, it's about the spiritual. <laughs> Leading the way. Oh, didn't I say that? So this is the combination. You're going to see first signs of this. And didn't I say this your superpower? There you go. This qualifies that. It's innate. You feel it. You know it. You. It's a knowing. It's an understanding. It's right. You're headed right towards your destiny. Look for the signs. They're, they're leading you right there. You're on the fast track. Things are happening quickly. You have the eight of wands talking about a swiftness. That's also the 
super moon. It's rare. It's unexpected. It happens quickly. <sighs> this is with all type of people you come in contact with, the Three of Pentacles. There's just a mental understanding. You guys are able to collaborate. People want to work with you. Uh, that's the king or queen of wands. It's like you draw people in. You're jovial. You're happy. Look at that. Yes. I mean, there he is. You. This is the future energy. Whether it's the king or the queen, you are drawing people in. So even unbeknown to you, the first signs is you getting happy about you, getting excited about you, filling up your cup, feeling good. And when you feel good about yourself, you look good on the outside. I, did I tell you? Yeah, you did something. To, everybody's been telling you that. Leave me a comment if that's true. And if that's not, you're going to be hearing it. Mark my words. Watch. Okay. Whatever you're doing, that combination's working. I got to give it to you. You know, I don't know why women have sometimes difficulty in giving other women compliments. Not me. Not me at all. Mm -mm. Even men, right? Giving oof, compliments. Here's that Hunter's Moon again. What? Okay. Hmm. So, definitely temperance is qualified by the High Priestess. This deep knowing, knowledge, understanding. You're seeing first signs that you finally get it. Things are working for you. Are working, are working for you. Doors are opening. Maybe doors that were once closed are opening now. Why? Because you're ready. Because you, we done some work, Moody. Because, you know, we're happier now. Ourselves, inside. We have done something to prepare ourselves for the next stage. To make sure that we're secure. That we have enough. That we can depend on ourselves. That's right. So things are changing swiftly. With all this moon energy. We have visibility. We have the super moon. With a energy of expectation. And then mystical. Surprise. Suspense even. Okay, that's the super moon. And the full moon is about something being revealed through the hunter's moon. Giving you time to change. Usually, sometimes it takes some, multiple full moons. You know, we're not ready by the time the full moon comes. But we're planting the seeds. This is a harvest time, too. And we should be actually learning how to create and take care of a garden. We're going to need to grow food. And, right, you're tending your garden. You've been doing the work. And so I see a new door getting ready to open because when a full moon occurs, a new moon then occurs, You ending brings a new beginning. Unless we're not here anymore. So the high priestess appears. And you are just with the three of pentacles and the three of cups. Yum, yum. As we come into the end of the year, it's like you're outgoing, celebrating, collaborative. The give and take, it's wonderful. The energy is very good. Vibrating very high. Boy, do you get out of your head, and that is exact. You're out of your head and into your heart, very giving. Look at that. You even notice a difference in you, but everybody also notices this difference too. Also, with all of this illumination, you're sharp, you're keen, you're very intellectual, you've been expansive, worldly, some of you. A lot of travel. I do see that. 
very expansive and I was feeling that and I looked down and what do I see this is your last card again the queen of sword the mother of swords emphasis on your growth worldly and I was feeling worldly and I saw the chariot travel traveled the world you such blessings the first signs appear something else you're you're, you're being called maybe to do something and the first signs of that calling are going to begin because you've had the ability to experience things others haven't and some way you're being asked to share that knowledge Okay, that's kind of what I'm getting here. So I do see another door that's opening. I see other soulmates coming into your life. Remember I said it can be a mother or a daughter, a sister, a friend, a lover. You do have a lover, child. Can we put the spotlight back on that? <laughs> because the King of Wands is qualified with the... Queen of Wands and the Sun. Talk about the spotlight. Wow. So you see them. This is somebody that adds to you. First of all, they feel very warm. There's passion. I would say fire. A lot of heat between you two. It's a El Natural. So just attracted to them. You two are the it couple. You're the power couple. You... Are the bring it and that's exactly who you prayed for look for the signs they're gonna appear <laughs> could be a Leo could be an Aries or a Sag we are talking about the Emperor and the Empress here under this waxing gibbous moon in Aries and the full moon is in Aries we're talking about an Emperor and an Empress here What's tying these two together is the sun. That is controlled by God. And also, that's the best damn card in the deck. Hello. Ask them. Go on. Tell them. It's coming in terms of love. It's coming. Oh, my God. The six of wands. Also, the super moon. Very transformative. Stuff changes. It's like the tower for me. It's unexpected. It blows stuff up. It is like stuff is rare. Anything you do and taking a chance and a leap of faith. You need that faith though. Little faith, little works. Medium faith, medium work. Great faith, great works. Yeah, divine communication. Something happens quickly. That's that moon. Could be in the form of communication. It could be your divine connection now. I do feel that. Why? Because the chariot is the next card. And this is victory. Leading you straight to victory. Oh, you can see it in the future. Notice this is about her vision. Her sword is down. Her eyes are focused. Focused on where she's being taken. Definitely going with the flow because something is opening and God is saying go with it. It's like he holds you in the palm of his hands. You feel it. You feel it. So wise. Mature. There's the tower. That's the super moon. Things changing. The tide is shifting. Things may have been going one way, but boy, that shift changes everything. And it's like, you got to have faith. You just got to hold on. God is a God of change. We're put here to change. Nothing stays the same. We don't stay the same. No, our situation isn't going to stay the same. People aren't going to continue to feel the same. Nobody's going to continue to have the same. It's going to be different a new order is coming in tell me about this king and queen of wands tell, oh, thank you 
starts off with you admiring them. Maybe they do something that catches your eye. Or you do something that catches their eye. There's a sign. Something drew them to you. And then something retained their attention on you. Ooh, didn't I say the super moon is a surprise? Something unexpected. Catches you off guard. That's how love comes. Boy, but you know when it's there because your emotions, your feelings start to change. The Two of Cups, all about emotions and feeling. Cups is the water. And I'm telling you, the tide is changing. <laughs> what? These are water signs. Yes. You two are going to know because you're going to know it's coming. First of all, you're going to see signs of synchronization. The first signs are going to appear. Maybe when you meet each other too, there's going to be signs of synchronization. That this is the one that you two are in sync. That you're aligned. I'm telling you. What else, Spirit? Regarding this soulmate, this union. What else? Look for the signs. A lot of change here. A lot of signs. Oh, also, what? Somebody from that closed door appears. Reconciliation? Asking for a reconciliation. The return of a past soulmate. And you do have soulmates. You're not in retrograde though, but you do have soulmate at the center of your reading. All right, Spirit, tell me more about this past soulmate returning. Why is that here for Libra? And remember, soulmate can be a friend. It can be a brother, a sister. It could be a lover. He did have me clarify that at the beginning. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. I had to just let that phone stop, but not take my focus. All right, so the past, this is somebody you ghosted, somebody that ghosted you. It's like you two have vanished from each other's life. You don't see each other anymore. But this is causing some pressure. Somebody needs to rectify this situation release something they now know what to do and it's a matter of doing it before the year closes out want to have a new cycle here mm. something unexpected could transform this situation this person is more receptive or you're more receptive libra mm-hmm also, that doesn't mean that, that means that you forgive them, they forgive you, the past is the past, and now you're free, able to move forward into whatever God has for you, because there is another door, it is open, you are being told, the first signs are going to appear, go with it, you caught the sun, Leading the way. It leads you right to your king of wands. Your queen of wands. This is all transformative. This is something that you're building. It's new. It's exciting. It's all this wand energy. And the chariot is here. Never felt like this. You never felt like this before. Some of you... You know, are feeling really good right now. You needed that vacation. You needed that boost in the arm, that job. You needed to meet a friend who made you laugh, who just gave you hope again. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
yeah things are a little intense right now because of all of this energy it's like it's all coming together it's a fine little cocktail all right but it's coming together in your favor everything's working out in your favor holy spirit just allow this energy to continue and keep Libra afloat so that you can use them for the greater purpose. Asking all things in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out your readings for the other signs in your birth chart. And Libra, until the next moon phase, namaste.